Hello, Troy A. Shadowing Tronics, still taking part in the Art Sound Off Challenge, and hopefully we won't have any troubles with this recording. What's this? Encoding overloaded, consider turning down video. I couldn't read it before it disappeared, but I can tell you this much. This is getting annoying. There's still a lot of stuff that I've got to learn, but that's not what I want to talk about. What I want to talk about is... Um, I want to ask some some of the um, people out there a question. I know this year, because it's basically just me, I think um, Rob did one art sound off. I haven't checked it this morning, so maybe there's more. Um, other people are just not broadcasting it on Twitter uh, with, the, with the hashtag. Um, which is what makes it, e excuse me, what makes it easier for us to find you um, and I do check it because I do post the first not all of them just the first art sound off and with a link to your site so where you're hosting it so people can go and check your stuff out you have location that's how I operate um, but in case there are any art creators out there watching watching these is here or just listening to it where you do our stuff how do you decide what to charge this has been kind of a, a running issue for me. Um, for you know, it's obviously tougher on freelance than contract creators, but you know, I don't know how I suffer from self-esteem issues, so I don't know how good my drawing is, my writing is, my video creation skills are. I mean, don't judge by the vlogs. Uh, go watch the video reviews or the convention footage. And I'm waiting for the for the whole uh, 2020 plague restrictions to be softened enough and less panic for the general public that I feel comfortable being around people. Not because of the virus, and I know people who suffer from it. I'm just worried about being around people in general because people have because panicky people are not people you want to be around. So um, that's why I haven't done the conventions. I probably should have said that uh, yesterday. But, um, you know, I mean, I do articles, I do comments, I come with banners and logos for my articles and videos. I do a lot of stuff. So, I mean, I'm sure I can make some money off of it. I don't know how much to charge. And I think that's been kind of a trouble with uh, Patreon, is not knowing what to charge for, you know, what to do for perks. You know, contribute this much and you'll earn this like best I can do used to be able to do is early access and haven't been able to do even do that lately when being sick means I miss days miss months or end up having stuff coming out late like yesterday's art sound off so it's kind of a question of how do you know what to charge for your work um you know, I'm sure everybody's got their own way of deciding, you know, this much a page or this much for this kind of work or this stage you could charge this, this stage you could charge that. And that's been kind of an issue, issue for me is I don't know what to charge. And I don't, I don't work for a company that's, you know, even considering that I'm good enough to get hired by anyone, you got the question of, well, okay, when do I have time to work on my stuff? And I'm, I'm at a point where I... I desperately need money coming in. And that's even harder now with uh, some of the stuff that's going on. I won't get into that. And um, so that's kind of my question for you guys is how do you know what to charge for your services? How, how much faith do you have in your work? How do you know how much you, what your work is worth? What you're worth? Because again, I've kind of struggled with that as somebody who has low self-esteem. And this is a really short art sound off you. That's all I gotta say on that. Because I don't know what to charge. I don't know how you, one decides what to charge for each service. You know, what do I charge for video editing? What do I charge for thumbnail creation? Or doing an art piece? What do I charge for writing something. What do I charge for logo design, character design? I don't know. 
I don't know what charge to begin with, and I don't know what my stuff is worth. So that's kind of been an issue issue for me on that, and that's one of the things that I'm thinking about. Um, and that's only five minutes. So. That was actually pretty easy to talk about, but trying to get stuff out on time on stuff that I'm working on. Um, a little short art sound off maybe to my benefit. I've had years where my art sound off has gone to like a half hour. Yeah, so I'm going to play around with some more equipment and get some more done. If you guys have any questions for me, just out of curiosity, um, that would be a great way to end art sound off on. Um, put, them, put them down there in the, in the comments and I'll scoop them up and I'll answer them in the last day. If, you know. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I come at this from a cre as a creator, as a um, critic, as just a general fan. Um, do you have any any thoughts that you'd like to ask? You always want to ask a media critic, or would like to ask the general public that you're not sure you get an answer from. This would be a good time to do it, I guess. Um, yeah, so I guess that's that. So if you want to. Um, see what I'm working on, go to bwspotlight.com. If you want to know what Art Sound Off is about, go to artsoundoff.com. So I will see you uh, tomorrow for another Art Sound Off. And until then, wish you all happy creating.